lot of these top players exhibit here. It's just, it's not even so much how mentally strenuous it is to play any given set against a good player, but throughout the days, like if. Oh yeah. Um, while we're waiting for oh there he is. Never mind. I was gonna say while waiting for Gluttony to come back. Kind of. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll be right back. I'm gonna okay. All right then. All right. So uh, Seth just taking a small, 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 small hiatus here. So Gluttony versus Leaf. This winner semifinal. It's gonna be another best of five. And thank you everybody who's in the chat right now, checking us out, Nimbus. Hope you guys are excited for Prime Saga. Man, it happened, it came so fast. All right, now I, I'll let you know right now, not a crazy fan of Captain Falcon as a character, but I love the way Leaf is playing Captain Falcon. He's kind of getting a little bodied right now, but uh, I mean, we've seen the way that uh, Leaf can make these comebacks. But uh, Glutoni has also shown that he has very good edge guarding capabilities, especially with that back air. Oh boy. And down air as well. Down air is such a crazy move. It, it puts you into these tech chase, or not tech chase, but it puts you into these tech situations. It can kill you. All of Wario's aerials are just insanely buff. Okay, the pip hand, keeping it strong. Oh, and there it is. There's that down there. Like I said, it's either going to kill you straight up. Oh. Oh, something bad happened. Something bad happened. Okay, we're back in it. Uh, I don't think this really means anything. Yeah, we're just gonna go straight into it. As if nothing happened, and we are joined again by Zetog. He's pretty committed to this character. Okay. They got him this far in winter semis, so I am not yeah. surprised. Good on him. Oh yeah, those platforms don't really look at all too good for him. I don't know if that up tilt was intentional. He just got caught in frames there, and he was able to do a up tilt instead. Alrighty, now he's Whoa! gonna be able to catch that and guess the body hitbox of the dare to be able to send them off the side. Very nice stuff. Yeah, he hit him with his skate back. My goodness. Okay. Oh, that was interesting. It looked like he was trying to use the dare to extend the hitbox and uh, hit him with the second one. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure if the second hit of dare can put him in the tech chase situation or even trip at a really low percent, but it looks like he can. Down tilt dash attack. Very nice kill confirm coming from Sydney. Very bread and butter stuff coming from Wario, but it's still reliable nonetheless. Oh, right, we got the big up air combos coming in, looking like Smash 4. Not quite going to be able to find anything else though, and he gets that landing there to be able to extend his combo. And Gluttony, I mean, one of the things when people are picking up Wario, one of the hardest things to do is to get used to getting there too to confirm. Because you have to fastball a little bit for him to be able to confirm into a combo. But Gluttony is very consistent at that, very impressive. Yeah, I would say uh, the hard part is not hitting the Nair itself because that is a huge hitbox with multiple up there. Oh, it like sucked him in with the first hit. Wow, just barely, but still, that looked like a little bit of a vacuum. A lot of the multi hits, they have like a suck in um, thing with their hitboxes to be able to make it connect a little bit more properly. Gets that landing fair, but he's got the WAP available, so that's a really scary position for a character like Hap Talk to be in. But he's got those down throws. He's gonna go for the up airs, doesn't continue up afterwards, but still, the tech check situation comes in with the fair. But well, they're back in neutral, and they're still trying to hit each other. They're just trying to find their one confirm into a big kill, but the platform pressure uses that chomp to be able to continue himself. <gasps> got the WAP on deck as well. Ah, kinda wasted. Okay, and then recovery. Uh, up B, not quite killing off of the side there. Oh, trying to look for his bike that's nowhere to be found. Ah! Air, but Forza will still be able to do it. <laughs> he gave him the old locker room special. Good job, champ. All right, that was a pretty, uh, pretty swift game one. Very high pace and. I believe he actually did a good job of just catching Gluttony when he was trying to recover or trying to come back to the stage. Props to him for being able to make that work. But, uh, you know, a lot of the times, with the, these top players especially, a lot of it is just the clutch factory at the very end of the last stock, keeping your composure and then yourself not get up like that. Yep. I've always been a huge proponent of pretending, at the, even at the beginning of the game, that every hit can kill me. And I'm assuming that a lot of these professional players do that as well. Gotta be safe. Alright. Oh. Nice combos here. And Captain Falcon's pretty easy to combo. We see those tech chase comes out. Okay, don't go in there. Okay, so I was wrong. It actually can work on particular characters at around 0 to 10. Alright, up to the top. 
up air, not even able to send it to anything else. But it looks like Leaf, he's been pressing a lot of buttons to try either reversal or just to land in general. And I think he's catching on to that, either spacing right around it and getting him out of shield option after shield, or he's oh. just straight up outspacing him. So very nice awareness from Luffy and catches him on the edge of the court screw and is able oh. to not get the edge guard actually, but gets the wall tech instead. And that's gonna beat the edge guard with the back air. Very nice stuff from Luffy. Do you think Luffy wanted to get hit by that FB? It's entirely possible, but he threw out a fair first, so I don't think so. He would have just run off and just get hit by it instead. But it's still a nice alternative if you get clipped by the LB instead. Yeah, sort of like an extended run. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, let's up count this out. Oh, not quite killing. Wario's fairly heavy. Oh, are we going to see a down air? Are we really going to see it? Okay, no. Okay. Keeping himself uh, in a less trappy position. Still has the center stage. Now, that was smart for Gluttony when he was recovering. He went really low with the mic available so that he wouldn't get there. Otherwise, Captain Popular would go too low and then potentially would be too committal for him. Mm -hmm. That's a fair point. Oh, that was a slick up there. Yeah. He's getting the very tipper of that. This combo's coming out of Gluttony here. Ooh, went really hard on that edge guard. He could afford it, though, because he still had the bike available uh, for that jump recovery. Yeah, he sure could. Oh, that was a big air dodge coming out from Gluttony, but Leaf not gonna take it. Leaf really uh, took... Wow! Just going right... It looked like he held up so he could go past the ledge. That was really well, uh, really well done. That time, Gluttony starting to get aware that Camp Falcon on the ground still reasonably linear your character just because he has a certain range and he wants to approach you in and he just pivoted get that forward tilt get another one on the recovery very nice stuff oh man that there i'm telling you man that there sets up a whole lot okay oh trying to go for that uh for that cheeky forward there not quite Leaf kind of grinning because he just barely escaped that there from that waft. He went underneath the hitbox, it looked like so. Blue needs kind of misplacing himself there, unfortunate. Yeah, and if uh, Leaf can take this stock right now, he's really not in a horrible position. Falcon kick in the sour spot of it, not even killing him 170 ish, yeah. Yeah, you see, you see Gluttony, he had enough room to come back around so that he was able to catch Leaf being a little bit too linear with Falcon's approach option. Down to the dash attack, still not going to be able to do it. Falcon's relatively heavy. Woo! Right, we have a lot of whip punishing and safe playing to make here from uh, from Leaf. Uh, whipping a dash attack is not one of them, but we're able to make a little bit of a conversion here. Tries to go for the knee. Guy gets some big damage to set up for an edge guard position. Not quite gonna be able to find it. Gluttony just needs one down tilt, one dash attack, and a very nice percent. Oh! Or a back arrow like that, and that's gonna be able to do it instead. Oh yeah. Mario! Uh, Leaf plays anybody else. Hey, we fought 2,000 battles. All right. Only? <laughs> yeah, only. Yeah, you're right. Greninja. Greninja. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. That's uh, nice to know that he plays a Greninja. I think this is probably a I'm up 2 0, so I'm just going to use my secondary on this last game. We'll have to see. Greninja is still a very solid character, don't get me wrong. Such a solid character. This character has basically guaranteed up smash for down to around 90. Uh, and Captain Falcon, once again, combo food. Oh, that Nair, there we go. And that Nair is really much of an anomaly because it's safe on shield, and if it hits, it's going to mess you up entirely. So it's just like, you can throw it out. It's not a great out of shield option, but it's still very good. A lot of uh, Greninja's options are incredibly safe. I mean, it's the same, pretty much in the same way that it was in Smash 4. It's a great combo starter more than anything else. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see how it goes. Okay, gets caught on the landing there with that dash attack. Very nice stuff. He's going to get caught there by that dash attack. Instead. Oh boy. I, I like how uh, you're able to use. Oh, yeah, almost killing him there. Yeah, but Greninja has such a great recovery, but never mind. You still get upbeat anyway, regardless of how good that recovery is. Even if he whipped that, he was still safe because I feel close enough to the stage where he could still sweep off the ledge. Oh, whipping that forward air. Okay, yeah, now it's time for Leaf to start getting more of those ledge traps. Not anymore! Getting jabbed out. Guess that down throw. Oh. Rises back up with the fair. Not able to find anything else though, but he's going to put himself back to neutral position. That's really big for him. Good wave bounce. That was really good positioning. 
Yeah, he used that wave bounce and then he had the pressure from the shuriken. So he tried to interrupt them before the shuriken comes out, but he's able to still get a uh, forward smash at the end of it still. Ooh, that was really good shield pressure with that down air. And then, then the wonderful thing about the way that shields work in this game, oh my god, combos! Uh, the, the wonderful thing about how shields work in this game is because you can the, minimize them down to a pebble, it allows more aggressive play. Oh, not quite. Yeah. Shadow Snake. Gonna be able to, yeah, a lot of the Grenadines will use that aggressive option because you can't see the shadow when you're off stage, so it allows you to mix up with an aggressive option. But that up B, still gonna be able to catch him at the ledge with that grab box. That's been putting a lot more work in for Leaf uh, as it has been in the past. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that was a faulty grab, uh, regardless of the spot dodge. Ah, taking that out clean. All right, we're at a pretty even game right now. Force match, we'll close it out. Try to find a tech situation or a jab block. Knockbox gonna be able to find him, but still gets a dash attack and a parry. Nice call out on the lead pressing buttons to recover back from his advantage position. He's going out these stairs, like his life depends on it. Ah, there it is. Oh, 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 I thought we were gonna see a Hydro Pump or something. Usually it's not reliable as long as your opponent still has resources. You usually wanna do it when your opponent's in free fall instead. Not gonna yeah. be able to get that, but yes, yep. you're gonna get that down tilt instead to be able to get the up smash, and that's gonna be Gluttony. Gluttony out with the Greninja. You know, I gotta say, Greninja, it's, <laughs> it's kind of funny when you, 